In this week's episode, a house robbery left him partially blind, but he didn't lose his vision to produce champions. First, born and raised in a shanty town, she's now trusted by the best in the world. When she was growing up in the township of Alexandra, life gave her limited opportunities. But Queen Motlatle wasn't bitter. She chose to be smart and worked extra hard to become one of South Africa's leading makeup artists. From the dangerous streets of Alex, today Queen works with presidents and some of the international musicians she idolized when she was a little girl. Alex, with limited resources, but big ambitions. It was okay, that's the life I knew, so to me there was nothing wrong. Queen Motlatle, a creative spirit from an early age. My mom would buy me like a nice cute white dress and I would dye it green because I wanted green, you know. And if it has pockets, I will remove the pockets and change them and put them at the back because I want them there. A typical Alexandra girl, Queen always knew how to make things happen at home. I was good with my hands. I started doing hair at a very early age. You know, that was my way of making extra pocket money, plaiting people's hair, relaxing them, you know, in the township. Queen would later realize the world of beauty was more than a hobby. When she finished matric in 1992, her family couldn't afford to send her to university. So her only option was to enroll with the less expensive Alexandra Technical College. I studied my hair course, I enjoyed it thoroughly, you know, our teacher was very fun and like very helpful, you know, we learned so much about black hair and Caucasian hair. She spent a year at the college learning about the art of beauty. And then she went into retail working for a mainstream chain store. But Queen wasn't fulfilled. Her dream was to be a makeup artist. This burning desire of making people beautiful, it was still there. So when I started applying, and now I get to know more and more and more people, and I start to ask questions. How does one get to this level? How does one do this? How does one do that? Eventually, she found the answers she'd been looking for. She was advised to come to this outlet in Orange Grove, where she'd gain experience as a makeup artist. I said, okay, can I work for free for you guys so you can give me a kit? Because I cannot even afford to buy one. They said, sure. So I said, I'll sweep, I'll do anything you want me to do. This willingness to work without a paycheck finally opened doors for Queen. In 2000, the SABC hired her in its makeup department. Queen's career took off and she started working with the country's statesmen like former President Nelson Mandela. I was over the moon, you know, and I always joke about it to say, you know, Tata Wena, <laughs> the only person that touches your face is your doctor when they check your temperature and me when I put your makeup. From the dusty streets of Alexandra, Queen Motlatle was living her wildest dreams. She was now doing makeup for local and international musicians like Miguel. Meeting and working with US singer R. Kelly created wonderful memories for Queen. I said, you know what? It's about time he learned our culture and everything he must eat. I gave 
the guy two slices of brown bread and a piece of chicken from yesterday. He ate it like he was eating a gourmet. I'm like, Wenda, you are my brother. <laughs> I'm going to take you to Alex. You are a girl like me. But just as things were going well, Queen decided to take a hard and unpopular decision. She quit her flourishing career and left her family behind to study makeup in Hollywood. I cut my hair, I cut my nails because I couldn't afford to do anything except to go to school, take a bus, things that I'm not used to anymore. Go to class, eat my uh, peanut butter sandwich or whatever the case might be and know that when I come back my life will never be the same and I'm going to change other people's lives. And true to her word, she came back home in 2011 after seven months abroad to take her career to a new level. Apart from running her own company known as The House of Queen, she's now the official makeup artist for beauty giant Avon. She's a qualified makeup artist. She knows exactly what products work and why. So when we're introducing new products, we will obviously um, consult with Queen and ask her what her opinion is. Would it suit South African women? Would they really enjoy this product? What pricing we should go with? Fortune favors the brave. And the only person that can stop you from your dreams is yourself. extraordinary stuff. Interestingly, Queen now employs some of the people who helped her when she was still looking for her big break. She's also a talented actress. Send us your feedback and let us know what you think. Against all odds at enca.com. You can also be in touch with us on Twitter and Facebook. Still to come, when tragedy struck, he healed himself by empowering others.